the Family Feud. Introducing the Walters Family, Bud, Gene, Ginny, Judy, and Sue. Ready for action. And the Muller Family, Marguerite, Margie, Patty, Mary, and Susan. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you. That's lovely. All our friends all over the country, we thank you for watching us. We welcome the California High School from Whittier. They're here today. Kind of, kind of a kind of a cheap way to get a round of applause, but <laughs> when you're desperate, I guess uh, the new season, you know, is an absolutely fascinating thing because there's no pattern at all. There's just weird, different things that happen. Things that seem like big hits aren't. Some things that... I read a review of a Chicago critic who predicted that the man from Atlantis would be the smash hit show of the season. And all I can say is that that will be the biggest hit of the season when Lindsay Wagner, the bionic woman, gets an Emmy for the best actress. She did. Pardon? She did. Then I predict that the man <coughs> from Atlantis will, uh, well, here's the waters now. She did? I can't believe it. How are you? I enjoy meeting you like this, you know. Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> No reason why you shouldn't enjoy it. You got $2,343. Yeah. There we go. Well, I still got the main supports with me, you know. You still have to introduce them. Right. I have my wife, Jean, daughter, Ginny Strandberg, daughter, Judy Lewis, and daughter, Sue Ward. Are these the only children? you have any other children? Just grandchildren. Oh, what, yeah. what do you mean, just? Well, no, they're pretty important, but, sure. the, you know. But you never had any these boys. Girls, well, we no got them around you know? the house all the time. <laughs> Well, I don't want to get into your personal life here. How are you, Don? Fine. Remember when I asked you last time how you met and you said yeah. on the street. Right, and now we're celebrating our 35th wedding anniversary. Oh, that's that. <laughs> Many, many, many more years. Thank you. What street was it? I mean, what, what city or where was it? Oh, it was in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, well, there's... You know, way yeah. back in the yeah. Midwest. Were you just walking along? I was walking along and home, and he came along with his boyfriend, and they tooted the horn, and I said, hi, how are you? And here we are, oh. 35 years later. Oh, <laughs> Excellent. Certainly glad to hear that. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> how did you meet your husband? I've met him backpacking in the mountains. <laughs> That's a weird little group, aren't they? There's the lady who has her water divining <laughs> instrument here. The lucky wishbone. Right. How are you? Fine, thank you. How'd you meet your old man? Um, well, I had to drive 150 miles to meet him. Oh, really? Uh-huh. We both taught in the same school district, but we went to Cleveland for the weekend, and that's where we met. Say no more. Okay. Cleveland, you know, we used to do jokes about Cleveland on laughing, but it's obviously a, sw you know, swinging city. <laughs> they, they went there for the weekend, Gene and Bud. <laughs> How about you? I met him at UC Santa Barbara. Did you? Yeah. How mundane. <laughs> Here's a family going to challenge you called the Mullers. Hello, my darling. That's a pretty dress. Well, thank you. We're delighted thank to you. have you here. Thank you. We're delighted to be here. Introduce your bevy of beauties, if you will. I'll be glad to. I have my daughter, Margie, uh -huh. my daughter, Patty, my daughter, Mary, and my baby daughter, Susan. Any boys in your family? Yes, I have one son. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it can be done. Right. We're delighted to have you here. Thank you. Ever been on TV before? No, I haven't. Nothing? Well, then this is the first. You'll be able to say hi to all your friends. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Okay, fine, thank you, Richard. Ah, uh, betrothed. Yes. <laughs> yes. What does he do? Uh, a farmer. Is he? Yes. Do you work on the farm? Some. Not too much now. I have a 14-month-old little boy, so... What's I his name? Her. Justin. Hi, hi Justin. Justin. He's probably milking cows at this moment. <laughs> he might be. Hi, Patty. Hi, I beg your pardon, sir? Was she ever a farmer? Thank you, sir, very much. Yeah. That's the same person who told me, Lindsay, if you ever heard of anything winning an Emmy. How are you, Mary? Thank you. Mary's obviously doing a Sydney Green Street impression, or she's playing for two. <laughs> right. When is this happy event? 
in a couple weeks. <laughs> oh, we better get on with it because if you're the champ, hi, Susan. Hello. You, you'll be there and, you know, we'll get oh, water yes. and band it. Yeah. I don't know anything about babies, Mr. Felcher. <laughs> Come on, let's play this game. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Your job, try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name a food you'd expect to see stuck on a toothpick at a party. Oh, your thing. Uh, a cocktail wiener. Ah, yes, what we call the CW, or the D. <laughs> DCW, the dreaded cocktail wiener. There it is. Two answers better than that, bud. How about an olive? Pardon? An olive. Olive. Never talk about another girl while your wife's here. Olive! It's there! You control it. What are you gonna do? Play a pass. They're gonna play this one. Gonna play it? Yeah. Go back there, darling. They're gonna play it. That's the strategy here, Gene. Name a food you'd expect to see stuck on a toothpick on a street in Cleveland. Uh, at a party. <laughs> I'd say a cocktail onion. Aha! The old CO. Or the DCO. Cocktail onion. Oh, no, that's your first strike. You get three strikes, you lose control of this question. Smollers get a chance to steal. Right away, they're plotting. Just like a magnet. Ginny. How about a little piece of cheese? Okay. <laughs> We're looking for a little piece of cheese. Is it there? The number one answer, darling. $88 there. Just two answers left. You've only got one strike. I know. Um... Meats like salamis and things. Don't keep giving, yeah. Just Sal all right, salami. Salami? Yeah. yeah. I just don't want you to give a lot of I answers because the know. other oh. family can. My get mind it. won't stop. All right, <laughs> may we see our little salami? <laughs> second, second strike. So, food you'd expect to see stuck on a toothpick at a party? Shrimp. That's got to be there, hasn't it? Show us shrimp. <laughs> you got it. Well done. $94, two strikes. Get it? You got a clean sweep. Third strike, however, Muller's got a chance to steal. Bud, food you expect to see stuck on a toothpick at a party? Meatballs. Okay. Meatballs up there, you get all the money. If it's not there, you get a chance to steal meatballs. <laughs> That's the way to play the game. And now I think I should put a commercial on a stick and have a party. But first, still fresh. You got Margie. Come on, darling. Come on, Jean. 100 people surveyed. The top six answers are on the board to this question. Name a famous miracle. Jean. Miracle of life. Oh. Just talking about it this morning. The miracle of life! Uh, no, I tell a lie, wasn't it? Wide open board. Uh, the miracle at Lourdes. Okay, may we see the miracle at Lourdes? <laughs> you got it! You can control it! What do you want to do? We're gonna pass. Being good, uh, good people, people of the, yes, off you go. No, pass. Isn't it amazing? You came up with a great answer like that. It just didn't make our survey. Good answers are always wrong. Well, how true, how true. I was only discussing that with uh, Haldeman the other day. Now, I want a famous miracle. Parting of the Red Sea. Oh. Isn't that neat? I hope so. <laughs> well, I'll I tell you how neat it is. I wish I could do that. That'd be... Everybody out of the sea while we part the Red Sea. That's the second time you've given me the number one answer. 18 people said it, $30. Judy, famous miracle. How about the flaming bush? The flaming bush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, it's all no smoking. Right. Whew. All right. May we see a flaming bush? Uh, uh, we almost burnt our buzzer out. It's a strike bush. there. But no light, but we got a strike. Exactly, my very words. That's probably where he heard it. A famous miracle, huh? How about the Immaculate Conception? Ah, okay. May we see the Immaculate Conception? Very good. 
13 people said it, $43. It's a shame that was done once, because they will never buy that excuse again. <laughs> now, I want a famous miracle, bud. Could get so many people out of trouble, couldn't it? But no, they will not buy it. Famous walking miracle. Walking on water. Jesus, Pardon? Jesus walking, walking on water. Walking on water, sure, that's a goodie. Walking on water! <laughs> They've even stopped that now. Boy, you can have no fun at all. That's your second strike. I used to love that. Mm. How are you? Well, I think I'm going to go with where he took the bread and the fishes and divided it among the multitudes of people. Okay, I hope you get there before the beat. <laughs> I do <are>. too. <laughs> All right, feeding the multitudes. Is it there? It's there. <laughs> 54 people. I was at a party the other day. Charlton Heston did that. There's nothing to that. Name a famous miracle. The creation. The creation, okay. It sounds very much like the old miracle of That's life. That's what I'm afraid of. But if creation's up there, it's okay. You will have one of the two remaining. If not, it's your third strike. The miracle creation. Uh, Mullers, what do you say? What do you say, Don? I need an answer. Okay. Uh, Our Lady of Fatima. Fatima, or mm -hmm. Fatima, as they say in certain parts of West Covina. Oh, is that right? Oh, either way, I'll accept I'll Fatima. Fatima. You say Fatima, and if it's up there, you get $54, and if it is not there, the Walters take a commanding lead. Fatima! Uh, you got it! <laughs> Number two, please! Ah, number three, turning water into wine. You've got $150, the first family, he gets 200 you know, goes for that big money, you've got to get on the board. We'll have a commercial, but first I'll do Snake into the Cane. No, do the commercial. Give me a snake. Okay. Give me a snake. Oh, here. $150, you got nothing, but come on, Patty. Come on, Jenny. Dollar values are doubled here. Now, you know what. If you win it, you're going to be the winning family once more. And you've got to win it, my darling. To get into this game, 100 people surveyed. The top four answers are on the board to this question. Name someone famous who used an axe. Yes. George Washington. The old cherry tree caper. George Washington. There it is. One answer, darling. Even more popular. There's $42 in there now. Someone famous who used an axe. Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan. We are looking for Paul Bunyan. What are you going to do? Play a pass. They're going to play because there's only two answers left. Mary. I don't know if she was famous. Who? Lizzie Bo Bo Borden. <laughs> right. She, I guess she was famous to the people After that she After she did is. it. Right. Lizzie Borden. You got it. $184. This is a great comeback. One answer. You got no... Got my answer. What do you say now? Oh. Someone famous who used an axe. Three seconds. Uh, First strike, Marguerite. Someone famous who used an axe. Uh, how, Abraham Lincoln. Did he use an axe? Split rails, did he yeah, not? He did. Mr. Lincoln's up there. You've got the money, and you're in this game. If not, your second strike. Honest Abe Lincoln. <laughs> you got it, and we've got this. Four score and seven axes ago. Ah, that'll never play in Illinois. We're on the board to this question. Name something that tastes sour. Judy? Lemon. Lemon, let's see it. What are you gonna do? Play a pass. We're gonna play! Okay, off you go, darling. They're gonna play. So, something that tastes sour. Medicine. Medicine, is it there? Medicine! First strike, bud. Pickles. Pickles. Threaded sour pickles. You got it. One more, you remain the chance. Uh, sour cream? Sour cream, something that tastes sour. Sour cream there. You are once again the winning family. Sour cream. Uh, Second strike. Right now, you can do it, or you give them a chance. 
Lime. Lime. If Lime's up there, you're the winning family. If not, Mullers, you get a chance right now. Lime! Uh, what do you say, Marguerite? Come on, darling. Get those answers. Daiquiri! A daiquiri! Um, uh, sound margarita. Need an answer. Uh, a grapefruit. Grapefruit is up on that board. You are the new winning family. If not, the champs remain the Walters. We're looking for grapefruit. $2,340. Thank you. Thank you. You're beautiful. And I love you. I miss you. I'm gonna miss you. Thank you. Hey, who's gonna play fast money? Come on out. Who's going first? Come here, please. You go there. Oh, boy, what a comeback. Will they get the big money? We won't know till we watch this. We get it. Margie is off stage, earphones on, cannot hear anything. Gonna play Fast Money. I ask you five questions. You give me five answers in 15 seconds. You try and think of the most popular answer. You and Margie get 200 points. We're gonna give you $5,000, okay? 15 seconds, please. One measurement of distance is an inch. Name another. A yard. A fruit that squirts. Lemon. A cookie kids love. Uh, uh, sugar. The age when kids should start to date. Sixteen. Something a doctor puts in your mouth. Thermometer. Okay, turn around. There we go. So, no, no groping now. <clears throat> one, measurement, one measurement of distance is an inch. Name another, you said. El Yardo, our survey said. Fifteen. A fruit that squirts, you said. Lemon, our survey said. 23, you got 38. Cookie kids love. I thought you were talking about a girl in the neighborhood. You said sugar. Is that a sugar cookie? Mm -hmm. Okay, our survey said four. I didn't know about that one. You got 42. The age when kids should start to date. You said 16, our survey said 41. You got 83. Something a doctor puts in your mouth, you said... Florida. Our survey said... Well, the board, please. One, two, three. That's what you got. Off you go. And here's Margie. Is that me? Mm -hmm. 77 points. That's all you're going to so. $5,000 richer. I'm going to ask you the same questions I asked Susan. Cannot duplicate her answers. If you do, you hear this. I'll say try again, and you give me another answer, okay? Okay. Remind everyone, please, the answer Susan gave us, and give me uh, 20 seconds on the clock. I feel in a good mood. Oh, today. thank you. You ready? Uh -huh. One measurement of distance is an inch. Name another. A yard. Try again. Foot. A foot. A fruit that squirts. A lemon. Try again. Lime. A cookie kids love. An um, animal cracker. The age when kids should start to date. 16. Try again. 15. Something a doctor puts in your mouth. Thermometer. Try again. A tongue depressor. You got five. Boy. <laughs> That's amazing because you duplicated, I think, all, everyone, was it? Or, or maybe four out of the five. So you did very well to do that. Uh, Here we go. One measurement of distance is an inch. Name another. You said a foot. Our survey said, <laughs> You're 48 points away, and believe it or not, that was not even the number one answer. A mile was the number one, and you scored 29. We wanted a fruit that squirts. You said, the dreaded squirting lime. Our survey said, Oh, we would need two lime squirters to make our survey, and we didn't, darling. Orange was the number one. I would have said grapefruit. Fruit, then we wanted a cookie that kids love. You said animal crackers. Our survey said oh, oh. Oreo, number one. Oh. And now you still That's need 48, it. darling. The age when kids should start to date. You said 15. 48 mm -hmm. points for the 5,000. Our survey said 19. 
The number one answer was 16. You need 29 points for $5,000. I said something a doctor puts in your mouth. You said thermometer, that was doubled up, and then you said tongue depressor. 29 points, $5,000 richer. Our survey said you got it! Some departing contestants receive from Kitty Shoes, the great American shoe store, a beautiful selection of fashion footwear. Kitty Shoes are with you every step of the way. And hamburger and fries made easy with Presto Burger One Hamburger Cooker and Fry Baby Electric Deep Fryer are serving you two in a jiffy or two from Presto. And from rival fast precision slicing right in your kitchen. Roast, cold cuts, bacon, cheese, vegetables. It's the electric food slicer furnished by rival. And put your hair on a high protein diet with Men's Protein 21 Shampoo. Hairspray and conditioners.